Hey, just me. Let it be me. Just me. Just me. The cat. The crazy one, the batshit crazy cat. Yeah, that I mean. You know the one that you've all tried to sabotage and kill and take and lie to and pretend I don't exist and uh, steal my energy and run a whole world cooperation of everybody's living off my energy <laughs> kind of cat. That's me, yeah. I, I, I do know, I am aware, but I didn't realise quite how the details were going to pan out. Because I'm kind of um, what you would call um, an Avenger. I'm a thunder cat on the team. Thunder, 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 thunder cat. I'll go. Electric love strikes with Zeus. Sorrow. <laughs> Ninja. Kind of. You know who I am? Yeah, I know you know. And you know that I know now. And I, and I did know since 2011, really. Fractured my soul in 2010, and it's been a huge journey ever since. And now, well, you've all sold your souls for what? 50 cent in the whack, <laughs> or 50 pence, Bob. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of Billy bullshit. <laughs> it was Billy, I oh, know a lot of Billy's. The main one now we're at is Kill Bill, uh, the Kill Bill movie, and the Bill's due. Gates are open. That's the only bill left. Killed all the other bills. No bills left. Platypus bill, bill put, boom, bill, bill, kill, bill, dealy bopper, wheelie bopper, teeny bopper, dealy bopper, boom, boom, bills are for you kids. Because nothing in this world comes free. Now I have many, 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 many enemies. That's just why I have to be very quiet about what I was doing. Because I had so many haters from birth that I couldn't say anything because I needed to... Who's real and who's not? So, um, well now we know everybody has been exposed and you've exposed yourself. I'm afraid I haven't even done anything. I just turned up with crazy hair varnish and funny colour hair and uh, loved everybody. And I came in peace. I will uh, leave in peace. And how we end is always on you. Yeah. That's actually true. I've never hurt anyone in my life. Not on purpose. I've made mistakes, but even when I was wrong, I was right. And even my by me being a little bit tweak of a meanness, it exposed you for who you were and brought yourself out and your true colours have been seen. Now, I do have a lot of enemies. This goes back longer than some people were born. Some of my enemies just jumped on the bandwagon after... A long time, they're younger, they don't know what they're doing. What are you, why are you Sabrina the Teenage Witch playing with magic tricks? Oh, it's another Mystic Meg. All right, they're moaning the vampire. Here we go, you're playing with the real GGs of the Top Cat. Doing magic tricks on somebody who was born in the dark when you just adopted the dark and you chose to play in the dark. I mean, I have many haters, please don't get me wrong. The masculine twat who's conned everybody's probably got it. Uh, Satan's got a special seat for you, sir. But I do have one particular. Now, I don't want to mention, I don't like talking about it because it's very, um, it, it's, it's very close to my heart and very painful. It's been a terrible journey, actually. Because when I was 18, I had a child. Now, I made the cardinal mistake of actually thinking if you had a child, you'd have a best friend for life. That it depends who you've seeded the child with. <laughs> Some pedigrees are not meant to mix with the Mongols <laughs> in the DNA world pool of life. Because, well, I'm a pedigree and they're mongrels. They're Heinz 57 DNA. I have a royal bloodline of the world. I'm quite, quite posh. They don't like that because they're mongrels. They're Heinz 57 mix and match inbreds. And I, I shouldn't have really been mixing with these people, but 
I did. And, um, and I assumed that I would be able to love my number one firstborn out of this mess that she's creating. She's not going to let me do that. <gasps> she absolutely bloody is. So, I loved her maybe too much. I don't know. Can you love somebody too much? Can you? I don't think that's really a thing. I gave her what I never had as a child. Unconditional, unapologetically loved her and allowed her to be herself. And in return, she has got the seed of Jezebel. Fact. She hates me. She's jealous of me, but she wants to be me, but she hates me. And now she's angry with me. Again, still. But today's anger is because I'm not dead. I mean, that's a sickness. She's a psychopathic or psychological liar. I believe she's been getting counselling, somebody said to me, in the spirit world. Nobody's grasped on you, do or no. I talk to dead people. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm real, you're just a veal. A slippy eel of a sea lion. And I do believe she said to me, this firstborn of mine, first spawn of mine, I do believe she said to me in Cornwall, her last words said to me, where were you? The weakest woman I've ever met in my life. Oh. Yeah, are you sure you want to do this? I don't think, I told you, don't, you don't say that you don't know what you're, you're cursing yourself. Do not say these words to me. You're saying this to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Over my dead body when you see the children again. You're a fucking weak woman. I fucking hate you. I don't think this is a good idea to say. Please, can you stop shouting in the lobby of the hotel? Everybody can hear you. You're making a spectacle of yourself. The cameras are watching. I'm watching. God's watching. You're not telling... I'm never allowed to see my grandchildren again over your dead body. Really? I, I, I don't think you want to say that in public in front of everybody, really. Fuck you! Come on, Francesca! We're awfully mother and She's a fucking asshole! I fucking hate her! She's got nothing but a waste of fucking space! I... 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 I can... I understand what you're saying. <laughs> and this was in 2022. So, is this your final word? Would you... Would you like to phone a friend? Would you like a bit to me? <laughs> You made this decision all by yourself, darling, and you chose to write. You wrote a book about how you're going to be famous and how sad your life is because you're an orphan and nobody loves you and your mother's horrible and your father's dead. And I know you have a friend in America who's helping you write the movie rights. Okay, so he's now sacked. And uh, <laughs> so are you, are you sure in July 2022 that's your final word? Fuck you. I know what's going on here. Please do enlighten me. What is going on? You're jealous. You're jealous of me because I'm younger, I'm beautiful, and I'm better than you'll ever be. That's what's the matter. You've got no fucking money because you've got no fucking life. Is this uh, your final word you would like to say on the matter? Yes, fuck you. And I'm not allowed to see my grandchildren. Why, sorry? Because I'm a danger to my grandchildren. I'm a danger. I'm a danger. Why, why, would you, why, why am I a danger to my grandchildren who you've sabotaged their dad, Dave, and took him to court and said he wasn't allowed to see his children because you're a vindictive, nasty bitch? I was there. I seen what you did. Dave will get her back for you. You'll be able to see your daughter again. He was a nomad. He'd signed himself over to the state, off the state. He wasn't in the Matrix. And this was back in 2011, 10, 12. Anyway, early two, 2012, 13, something. So me and Dave were a problem because we, what, told the truth and said truth. I see what you're saying. So we're not allowed to see our granddaughter or his daughter because you're the best bitch on the block. 
is what she's been saying. Turn, turn on the clock. And we're jealous of you. And you went and seen Dave's ex-partner and had contact with his son because he got stopped from seeing his son because obviously Dave's such a bad man. I know Dave. I knew Dave. I like Dave. Dave was a bit what we would call weird in a 3D Matrix kind of weird way because he wasn't in the Matrix. He gave up all his rights. He wasn't even allowed to ask for because he said, fuck you, government, I'm not doing it. He knew all his rights. The police couldn't arrest him. Nobody could do anything with him because he says, I'm, I'm above the law. <laughs> I used to like Dave. He was a good crack. So, you played Dave, gone behind and manipulated his son for uh, so that your daughter's got another son, a brother and, and you've all worked together and hated everybody because you're jealous. You're jealous. Oh, well, why would me and Dave be jealous? <laughs> We've suffered because of you and so is the children. Because who's weak, sorry? 11, 11 on the clock. Whoa, shit. I've deliberately kept my mouth shut all this time for a long reason. Oh, look, we've got Jacob's ladder going up to the sky today. <laughs> With a Batman sign in the sky. I, I, I've deliberately kept my mouth shut for this long about this situation because everybody has... I'm not here to really judge, but until it comes to Judgment Day. And that'll be today, officially, a kind of day. Because... Well, you can only go so far and take so much. And you've destroyed many lives. I mean, many people's lives have been destroyed, and I mean, including your own, because you sold your soul for 50, 50 bob and a, and a, and a whap. And um, you got involved with something you're well out of your depth, darling. You're Sabrina the Teenage Witch, messing about with, well, God. You took on God with a dictatorship of a wand. Happy wanderers, or because of a little jealous seed that was planted in your head when you were born because you were three and you thought, oh, I hate my life so bad. I wish I'd had her life. Her life's been fucking easy compared to mine. Fuck oh, no. First 28 years has been great. So, so God says to say, seeing as your mother is so weak and you hate her so much because she's such a dragon, and you're better than her, and better than her. So now you've got the next 28 years of your mother's life. Swap. Do you want my life? Have it. I'm dead anyway. So this was 2021, when I got banned from seeing my grandchildren, because I'm obviously jealous. I mean, you can see me turning green here with envy. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to cope with my life. So... 2022, I got told I was the weakest woman, sabotaged and left in Cornwall alone by myself while they were plotting this scheme behind the scenes for two years. 2023, April the 10th, I phoned her up and said, Hello, it's just your mother. Remember me? Nine months I left her. Incubation time for a baby. I thought, anyway, if she's got any heart left, she'll have a realisation now, wouldn't she? Because after nine months of not speaking to my mother, I, I mean, I was a bitch as a teenager as well. We all can be bitches. So I thought, after nine months, if my mum phoned me up, I'd be like, hey, are you okay, mum? I am sorry about me. I have been a bitch, I know, but I still fucking hate you. <laughs> I would kind of do say like that. But I phoned this one up, the oldest spawn child of her lamps. And I said, um... Hey, it's me, your mother. I'm still alive. What do you fucking want? Well, to tell you, I'm still alive. The gang stalkers hasn't killed me and I'm still alive. I've managed to survive and I've beaten all the gang stalkers and I've beaten the gangs from, of New York and I've beaten the gangs of uh, Birmingham. So I just thought you might like to know I'm still alive. Fuck you! Nobody's trying to fucking kill you and we're just trying to get on with our own fucking lives here. Can you just fuck off and don't call us a fucking gang? Is that, is that your final word? I just thought I would let you know. that. How are the girls, by the way? I was just wondering if my grandchildren are okay before I go. They're fucking fine! Better off without having you! And uh, Okay, so they're both the girls okay? They're okay, you're sure they're okay, and Ellen is okay, and Lillian's okay, and okay, they're managing, great. 
Well, send my love to everybody and I'll not be contacting you ever again because I'll just leave you to get on with your life now. Is that, is that, is that your final word? Oh, man, fuck off. No one's trying to kill you. You're fucking mentally ill. You need fucking help. <clears throat> so you never want to see me again. I've just, you heard what I fucking said. Goodbye. Bing. Ah, Dad, I think that's her final word. And that was on the 10th of April um, in 2023, which was last April, not this April. And uh, I then went to the graveyard in Hansworth and cried. A lot. And I cuddled up on the floor and just lay with the dead. <laughs> and she made God cry. Even God was crying. It actually, we had thunderstorm after that for about 40 minutes. Not a very long one, but she made God cry because... God knows how much I loved that child. And I nearly killed myself and sacrificed myself. But I'm not the Lion King this time round, tell me. In The Lion King, um, the Lion King goes and saves Simba. And he sacrifices himself and dies. So Simba can then be king. But we're not living a film. This, that's not the kind of film we're living. Sorry about that. I'm not going to sacrifice and kill myself so my child... Of saint and spawn of the vamp tramps who's a whore can try and take over my job and be in the role of what role she wanted to be me but with a devil's dick i'm sorry that that that's not that's not that's not the gp's plan I apologise about that, but I'm sorry, devil. Your dictator of your Eden project is over. <laughs> You're no longer on Earth. You're bound to Earth forevermore. Please take it. And we're in a new Earth. And um, the, G the GP will now let you know your results of your karma of Dharma of 17, 17 on the clock. That's another 8-8. Eight, eight. We're doing lots of 88s eight, eight, eight today, aren't we, brother? So I do believe that that's all the I's dotted. I don't owe anybody anything. I do. You don't need to be sorry for anything. You made it clear to me on the 10th of April last year when you left me for dead again. Many opportunities, darling. Please don't feel sorry for yourself. And going around spreading STDs and knowing that you're terminally ill is not a very good idea to do that. Along with the Don Guans of the Wibbly Ones of Sri Lanka who conned you to think it. Did he train you? Did he? Who was training you? <laughs> the Illuminati were training her since she was 2010. However old you were in 2010. And you've done a hate campaign and a vicious campaign and turned the whole town against me and said I was, what, sorry? A bad mother and I had to be paid to look after my own grandchildren. We we know there's a true story to that. We can go into those details later on. Maybe it's 18, 18 on the clock. That's a 9, 9 now. So we're going up in sequence, Father. I see 88, 99. So that's that's a sad case that we're at because you've now turned everyone against me and you've taken a lot of people to hell with you, darling, including your own children. No, I won't be able to look after them, I don't think. I think they're probably going to go into the um, system because obviously I'm a danger to society. Unless we could... I can't remember Dave's surname. If anybody in the ethos or anybody out there... Hello, I'm putting a shout-out to, to Dave, who used to be on Facebook who has a missing daughter and is not allowed to see his son because he got it and she knew this, this devil's spawn of a child. Because Dave told you his worst fear was having a child and not being allowed to see it because they stole his son. He said it was the worst thing that happened to him all life. You're vindictive like your father, darling. You are a mad cunt of a Watkins, yes. What? Next of kin, yes. I'm your next of kin, darling. <laughs> So that leaves us with two children, a son and a daughter that has no father because of one little witch doing Sabrina teenage witch skills. And I do believe if anybody knows Dave or Dave, you're watching me, you'll remember me, the crazy one. We used to have fun. We had a laugh. I like Dave. I think Dave liked me more than uh, my daughter. That's why she was jealous of that, probably because Dave would have preferred me because I'm much nicer than what she is, really. <laughs> That's why she used to be jealous. Teenagers used to come round my house all the time. And they used to call me the 
Oh, your mum's all right, Loz. She's all right. Uh, your mother's all right, isn't she? She's Milfa. <laughs> she used to hate that. She used to hate it. Fuck off! Uh, mum, get in the fucking house, mum. Stop coming out of the house with my fucking boys here. <laughs> Just saying hello. What's the matter? You all right, lads? <laughs> she didn't like that. <laughs> so this is why at this stage of the game, 20 minutes into the thing, and the level that I'm at now, I, I'm not bothered about people being jealous or hating me because, I mean, I mean, it takes a real master for your own children to hate you with a passion like that. I mean, I must be good. I'm well hated, me. Everyone, every fucker hates me. Every fucker hates me. Every man, in, my ex husband married me to hate me and kill me. My parents hated me. My fucking kids hate me. My friends want to kill me. Oh, they're all in on it now. Everybody hates to hate Cat, but they all love me because they want to be me because they're jealous of me. I don't understand that. How could you want to kill something that you want to be? I want to kill her. I want her eyelashes. I want her tits. I want her face. I want her skin. We're going to. They, they've literally chopped me up and ordered me for pieces but they hate me but they're going to eat me <laughs> isn't that weird <laughs> isn't that weird but yeah i did have a problem with the uh, teenagers when i was i uh, when i was in my early 30s when she was a teenager they they used to say i was a milf a milf which is a a mother you'd like that if you didn't know that and then now i'm a gilf apparently <laughs> it's true. It's true. I don't want to blow my. I'm not telling you this because I'm blowing my own trumpet. I think I'm great. I'm just saying what the boys used to call me. I used to be a milf. Whoa, your mother's a milf. Because <laughs> I'm funny as well. I used to make the chicken sandwiches and that. Chips and pizzas and stuff. I used to feed the community because I was the youth centre. No, the youth, they shut all the youth centres, so they used to come to my house. I used to be the sinner of the community. She's letting all them young people in the house. It's a disgrace. What's better than them sitting in the fucking graveyard doing magic spells like you lot are doing? So I used to go to the Tesco's and buy chickens and that and make barbecue chicken for the lads and the lasses because obviously it was the girls as well. They all remember me, all right? The teenagers love me, man. And then... Um, I became a gilf. I hear you say, what is a gilf? A grandma, you'd like that. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So I do have a lot of haters. Yes, that is true. Most people do hate me. It's not a problem. But I do have a lot of fans. Only fans, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to the dark, because I love the dark. So this is true. And then it's happened again with, I had an 11 year gap between my two children. I have the same problem, 23, 23 on the clock. I have the same problem with my um, younger teenagers. Who's, well, there's an 11 year gap between them because I, I got child hurt. I thought I'm not having another fucking kid after this motherfucker. She'll fuck her one devil's enough to cope with. I can't cope with a fucking other fucker. I'll wait till I'm married. If I'm married, you'll settle down and then at least, because you should, you really need two people to bring up a child. I know this. I tried to do it myself, ladies. It doesn't fucking work. It, then the kids, uh, well, they hate me because their dad left. It's my fault. Everything's my fault. <laughs> Everything's my fault. It's all my fault. They've got no dad. It's my fault. It's your fault my dad left and died with a heroin needle in his arm because, right, that's my fault because why? Sorry. Oh, yes, that'd be me. Let's just blame Catherine for everything. I just turned up and had fucking coffee. Smoked myself to fucking death nearly. <laughs> That's it. That's all I've ever done. That's my sin. I love too much and I smoke fucking cigarettes and I, I drink too much coffee. And so, hey, what do I know? Fucking crazy Lego. <coughs> so, just speaking on the world wide web of... Uh, injustice of criminal injustices justice will be served people it's coming it's just a matter of time uh, this has been a long journey for me i've been doing this officially since 2011 when i went to peru like paddington bear with my little sandwiches <laughs> except i went with marmite love or hate me kind of sandwiches 
and even there there were some naughty shamans working with the dark side yes there was but there was also the light side and, and i i made friends with well i made friends when i was in mexico in 2000 and when i was 21 mexico knew who i was i had shame and cover from them really they don't they they, they won't like that because but really, officially, I've been protected and working with the Masters as well, well, since I was born, really. But the 12 tribes, have you heard of them before? 13 skulls. I was the original who did, um, I used to do it in the 80s. I used to do, do I used to play with crystals. And I, I was hated then as well, <laughs> in the 80s. Because why are you collecting them? It's a rock. It makes me, it'll change the energy. Try this, it'll give you, this one will make you feel happy, this one will make you feel sad. Don't use that one, it'll fucking, oh, don't you, oh, now you've activated your eyes. Oh, Just stick with this. I used to give them out and put them in little bags when I used to work. And I used to put them in a little bag with little hearts and just a clear, uh, just a rose quartz crystal heart shape. I used to say, hey, I've got this for you. What is it? It's just a little gift. It's for you. It only cost a couple of quid to make. And I, I used to make that. People remember. Shit, she did. I did. And I used to say, hey, take one of these with you. What is it? Why are you giving me that? Because I love you. Take it with you and just remember me and it'll make you feel better. Just a rose quartz heart crystal and I used to get. And it that would just make you feel love. Don't use other crystals because you're not you're not ready for that. You can't even do a rose. Rose quartz is a very gentle crystal. It just is very gentle. You shouldn't be using tiger's eyes. You shouldn't be using black obsidian. No, don't touch it. Don't touch that. Just use rose quartz. I like this one the best. Try this. <coughs> well, they thought they knew everything. Someone stole my crystal skull. It talks to me. I know whose room it's been in. Boo! That's a sender ship from your spine, didn't it, bitch? <laughs> and my pyramid. With electromagnet things in it. A blue one with glitter around the outside. Yes, that was mine. Bad move. Well, that talks to me as well, so that's that's a lot way I know where it is. I know what you've been doing. I see mirrors as well. I can see through mirrors as well. Oh, look at me, aren't I clever? I'm doing mirror magic. Oh, quick. Quick, boys, get ready. The witches are back. I'm going to kill the sun with a lighter. Uh, I hope I don't die. The power I have inside of me is like the sun. I'm electric like Zeus. And you're trying to kill me with a lighter. Oh, no. I hope I don't die, Dad. Please help me. Send help. <laughs> That's unconditional love for you. And love is tough. It's tough on every fucker. I know, because I've been heartbroken. And heartbreak's actually quite... I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to put anyone down or, or try and be bigger and better or, you know, my pain's worse than your pain kind of thing. But I'm just going to be very honest with you. Heartbreak is easy compared to soul fracture. Now, if you've done soul fracture, if you're into shamakathism or whatever shame and stuff you're into, you will understand what I'm saying soul fracture which means you have to do soul retrieval work which i'm a master at just i've learned myself with my spirit guides of the 12 tribes i've been taught by masters actually i have very good teachers just not met physically 3d yet but the world knows who i am in in in, in high spiritual places yes sorry but they do i'm back so so yes the spiritual community real spiritual people do know who I, they didn't know who i was sometimes they just know it's an energy they're waiting but they're not sure ready not uh, oh it's her it's our kid i am part of the team yes i'm in the band of merry men of jolly for she's a jolly good pair not 30 on the clock so i i am kind of 
um, supported by the by the twelve tribes. Yeah. And is that just twelve people, or is that a whole tribe? Is that a, well, it's a, it's a whole legion of um of, of well. I work with the underworld. Is my is my my main forte. I'm now having to learn off my twelve tribe brothers and sisters how to thrive mode because I'm so used to underworld. I know the dark better than I know the light, darling. And I told you. Baby, I'm a gangster too. You don't wanna mess with me, mess with me. I told you not to mess with me. But you just thought I was a joke, and it's Fool's Day, April. <coughs> Fool's Day's on you, slippy sea lions, for the rest of your life. Because I told you I'm I, I I act like a fool. You thought I was a fool, but I was the fool. Fooling fools, fooling fools. Who's a fool? I'm the jester of the team, darling. I'm just the entertainment. I'm the entertainment of the of the of the uh, tribes. <laughs> a lot of other brothers and sisters actually take this job very seriously, and they're very spiritually committed to talking about the light forces and DNA activation codes and all sorts of Merkabahs and all of this serious stuff, which is very serious. And uh, I can see the skull in the sky now watching me. <laughs> so I'm very, I'm, I'm very, very good at, well, all sorts of things really. But I just like to keep it light heart. I'm the entertainment. I told you I'm the Vera Lynn. I'm the, I'm the entertaining the troops. I just come in to chat and say, hey, what's up? I'm the MILF. <laughs> Cheers, boys. So that's it, really. But yes, I, I do know a lot of stuff. I'm very serious. I am actually. Well, that's why I get called. Uh... Do you know what I mean? Does that so, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm dribbling it down the coffee. Look at the dribble. That's the drip that never dropped but i did drop for a thousand years i've been drip drip dropping drip drip one drop of a drip on a rock for a thousand years can split a whole rock in half rocks not such a fella smashed his rock he's not a fella he's not a good fella anyway so smash the rock with a drip I like to take my time slowly and savour the savourness of life. I'm patient of the same me. I'll wait for it. I have no problem waiting. I've waited a thousand years. So, that being said, after you've had a drip that never dropped, and then I turn and I'm in into a, I'm a ninja and an Apache, and we'll just do a slowly, where's the power, darling? Does anybody know where the power is? Anybody on the dark forces know they're too dark to understand what I'm talking about, but the light forces know what I'm saying. So my name's Apache Longbow, given to me by shamans of actual maestros. I didn't just decide one day, well, today I'm going to call myself shaman. I'm a, I'm a medicine woman and I'm going to call myself Apache Longbow because I just like that name. Who said these are a shot? Who gave them this? Who that they haven't got authority to do this? Yes, we know, Catherine. We're, we, we're dealing. Yes, exactly. You have no authority to be doing what you're doing, especially to me. Now that's why you're in trouble, because I was given the name only in two thousand and twenty-two. Apache Longbar. Do you know what that means? An Apache. But you need to go and research. I'm not here to fill you in on your things. Light forces, I know you know. <laughs> I'm just dealing with the duality of light and dark here. Having a dual conversation with dictatorships and godships of motherships of kingships. Okay? So an Apache. That's me. Old school, Mohican. It's a good job this is this day and age because otherwise I would have ripped your head off and I would have done a silence of the lambs, sliced your hair, ripped your skull off, and we would have eaten your brain for dinner. That's what the old Apache Longbow used to be like in my old and past lives. I, I used to be, um, well, an Apache. 
do you don't really you need to go and study about Jesus if you don't know what I'm talking if you know you know so that's okay and then I'm in a longbow so that would be an arrow which means I'm in it for the long haul I have a hawk eye of a bear of a no problem sir I've got this one shot which would lead you on to the modern day of the M&Ms you're a minion or a maggot or you're a slim and he showed it one shot you got one shot I know I have, I'm an Apache long way, don't worry, I've got it. So, we've drip-dropped, smashed the rock, not such a good fella. <laughs> Bang, is dead. Then I am coming in slowly, pull back, pull back. Where is your power in the arrow-breaking system of this gigabytes? The power <coughs> in an arrow-breaking system... Anybody who knows who plays archery. Is anyone into archery down here? Do these know what they're doing down here? Are they actually fucking imbeciles? Imbeciles. Okay. Archery. Have you played that before? Bullseye. Hit the, hit the target. Pull it back. Where's the power? Any good arrow man knows this. Or she man. She ra. The power is in the pullback. Yeah. So... Drip drop water? I flow like water, my friend. I'm fire, but I have a water man. So, we have drip dropped. <laughs> Smashed the rock. The bank has got no plot. He's lost the plot. <laughs> and then what's happened? We have now pulled back. And the power is in the pullback. And now there's a tsunami heading right to your way. And that would be your 911 call. Twin Towers coming to you because I'm a grey twin of a ray of a twin. <laughs> 17, 37, 17. So does that make sense? That's why you're where you are now because you've betrayed God. And you're blaming me because your library might shut tomorrow. I'm sorry, but these people, you need to wake up. I'm here to shatter your illusion. I am the Great Awakening. We've been lied to as a whole society, a whole community. The religion's not what they say it is. And the government fermented, and they're all lying to you. And flump, I've still aced you. You're still going back to the future. As much as you keep wanting to do these rallies of parades of Lou, look at you. It's it's a lie, by the way. Please stop watching the news. G7, how's your summit going? Sum it. The sum of the conclusion of the G7 summit is I'm the G8, the boss bitch. That'll be me. And you now, your bill's due, yes. You're an odd ball. I'm an eight ball. In an eight year. And God's army's here and I think they all want a word with you. On a whole world wide scale, because they they I'm just well, I'm just one of the ones of the one of the ones. I mean I'm a nobody, but I'm a somebody. And um as I say, I did have an Achilles heel, which was my only love really, which was my first ball. Everyone else I could pretty much cut off savagely I'm not bothered I, I, I do have a game of my I, I'm known I have a reputation in society for having a cut off game like a motherfucker I'm quite hard titanium really even though you just thought I was a milf that you wanted to <laughs> I'm not really proud of <laughs> thanks for the compliment though <laughs> So now you all must just... Oh, I've been very fair. And now I do have the heart of a saint. The patience of a saint. And um, you now all must just go and live with your own karma of your own doing. And I still am by myself, with myself, for myself. My father's looking after me. Don't worry about food, water, money, anything like that. God will provide food, water and shelter for me. He always does. So I do, although I have been homeless, I haven't been homeless, not really, I've never actually, it, truth be told, because I don't want anyone to think that I'm, I'm playing this, which has never been homeless anyway, well, because that's true, not really, but I did get made homeless, you thought I was going to be homeless, and I did wander the streets of Birmingham with a big bag on my back, 
all my stuff was stolen again, they robbed me again. And I was wandering the streets for eight hours with a big rucksack on. I thought we were going back to France days, but I'm a master shaman, so I was just learning myself back in the dark because I knew I needed to go. So God says, I've got a place for you, don't worry. You know, because I kept saying, I can't sleep on the streets. <laughs> I even asked the police for help, but they didn't help because they were. So I, I said to my dad, I can't sleep on the streets. He says, Catherine, why are you worrying? Have I ever let you down? You've never slept on the fucking streets in your life. I'm not going to let you sleep on the fucking streets. You're not a street urchin. So I had to go through a little bit of a wandering around Birmingham for eight hours on, um, it was a Saturday, Saturday night. It was, it was my night with uh, Grim. And me and Grim wandered around. I was protected like a motherfucker because Grim said, if anyone touches her, I'm going to fucking eat you alive. And any fucker says anything to her today, I'm coming for you. So Grim was kind of in front of me, which gave me a bad persona because they thought I was the bad one. It wasn't. It was just Grim in front of me. <laughs> 41, 11 on a cross. Sorry about that. It's an illusion. It's a trick. I'm a master like you. And uh, then what happened was um, the police. <laughs> I'm enjoying these clouds today. I've never seen clouds like this before. They're beautiful today. It's very still out there. I think I might have to go for a walk again. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, yes. So I wandered around Birmingham, me and Grim. I bumped into one guy. And he said to me, are you okay? And I said, well, not really. Kind of, but no. And he says, oh, I know how you feel. He says, it's a fucking nightmare. I says, what's happened to you? And he says, well, I was meant to get married. I says, wait. Yeah. He says, yeah, this weekend. He says, but she's a fucking bitch. So he says, I can't get married now. I went, really? He went, yeah. So that's kind of like my life. I think I was due to get married, but I, I, they keep blogging me and stopping me. I'm not allowed to be happy, me. He says, I know. He says, if someone's standing in our way all the time, we stop us getting married. To stop us being happy, they keep sabotaging everything, don't they? I said, yeah. I says, anyway, I've got to go because I need to go and find some accommodation or else I'm going to be sleeping on the streets. He says, you're going to sleep on the streets? You, how are you? I went, no, I won't. I says, my father won't let me sleep on the streets. I'm not allowed. So I ended up getting taken by a fake policeman um, to Washington Court. Which is Washington, where I used to live. The names coincide. And we have a court there where we have a court case that I was meant to be to, but I haven't been to any court cases because my fake, you all right, Dora? It's been turning up and signing my name and pretending she's me. So while telling everyone I'm dead, I'm not dead. I wasn't dead when I was a child and they killed my mother and my father's an asshole. And I'm not dead now when I'm 46. If that's my age, it doesn't matter because on my birth certificate I am. My fake life, I'm 46. So we just go with what's what's real. Because it is real, because they made it real. So it's not really a fake life, because I have lived a life for 46 years as Catherine Sarah Jones and then became an Alexander. It's not fake, it's actually real. I've been here, I'm real, this is my real life. <coughs> Although it is fake. See, that's what I'm saying, duality does make sense, but it does make sense. So yes, it is fake. I am not who I say I am. My name is not Catherine Sarah Alexander, but yet my name is Catherine Sarah Alexander because that's the life I've, I, I have been living, actually, yes. So it's real. R-E-A-L. I am real. I'm not just a real. You're a real fake. Because you faked your life pretending to be me, but I didn't know I was me anyway because I'm just being me as Catherine Alexander. That makes sense. 44, 11. So I am real, the original real. I'm an ABBA. Young and sweet, only 17, I am the dancing queen. So yeah, I am real. I haven't died, I've solved my own murder. Well done, Catherine. Katharina, Katharina, Hurricane Katrina. Oh, you did that in Detroit and all, and now you did. That's why you go Hurricane Katrina, you motherfuckers, that's all. 40, 54 on the clock. My gut's talking. So.
so yeah that's kind of where we're at today so everybody i, I do apologize if anybody's upset that i'm not dead again but they have been trying to kill me for 46 years and i think the proof's really in the pudding and you maybe should have taken notice why is she not dead yet after 40 years of being tried to be killed i'm still alive i think the clue's in that people that i'm i am who i say i am but I have solved my murder from a child, so you will find out that I am Catherine Jones, but not really. I'm, who am I? Surprise, surprise. The unexpected hits you between the eyes. Oh no, you're in the panda club. Oh, red shoe gang. Woo, 45, 45. And uh, Satan still wears Prada, but he has moved on to Balenciaga. Oh, what a saga. What a bitch. I'm sorry, I'm still alive. I, 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 I want to apologise to anyone I've upset by still being alive. I mean, how selfish of me. I don't know how I live with myself. I'm sorry. I'm still alive. Oh, no. <laughs> That's bad news for you because you're the one who's trying to kill me, but I haven't tried to kill anyone ever. I might. I actually, even when I was wrong, I was right. Sounds nice, isn't it? So that's happy Saturday vibes to you. Are you a Sabbath day? Are you having a, ba a Sab? Seb? Are you having a bath? Sabbath? Or are you a sabotage? Sabotaging people's lives, trying to steal something that's not yours. I do have a reputation now, apparently. I'm going to take this one. I like it. I am known now as the Hollywood Slayer of the Demons. I like that title. I'm going to take that one, guys. Thanks. Whoever made that up, I don't know who said that, but I like it. I'm a, I'm the Hollywood, Hollywood, Holly and the Ivy. Da, 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 da. Ah, happy Christmas. Did you all enjoy Christmas last year? Did you? I'm pleased because that Christmas is gonna, never going to be the same again for any of us. I hated Christmas for about fifteen years. I went right bar humbug. Kids used to love me. Mom, you're so miserable. It's fucking Christmas. Can you not just enjoy it? No, not really. I hate Christmas. <laughs> I think the crows have said it all. 47, 47 on the clock. I'm going to go and see what the rest of the day has for me. <sighs> but yeah, you're where you are now. You can keep blaming me and living in your denial. But you're all where you are because you know what you did last summer. And the summer before and the summer before and for, since 1977. So, <clears throat> just go and deal with your own life. I'm not here to wipe anybody's ass. I'm now free as a bird to be myself. For myself, with myself. I need nobody. I will be fine and God will show up and I will be provided with money, love and everything I need. So thank you very much for helping me master matrix of your 3d craziness but i'm now in the 5d of the new world i'm in the new world it was always it was always here but i had to i wanted me to play your game so i played and what happened where was you played yourself sure ain't so funny when the rabbits got the gun okay so happy oh look it's 48 48 on the clock so have a lovely day happy sabbath or sabotaging yourself day Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there who are doing a good job. That includes the mothers who are having to be fathers. Really what we should call it from now on, I think, is Happy Families Days. Every season we should have a family day. Happy Family Day. <laughs> because the children need to be supported and loved and respected. So do the mothers and so do the fathers. Let's have a family day. <laughs> Happy Family Day. <laughs> To all those light workers who are doing a good job and doing the job of the gods, whether it's by yourself, with yourself, for yourself, or whether you have support of a husband, lucky you if you do, and a wife who loves you, whatever. Just happy family day this weekend. Sabbath, Sabbath, bath, or sabotage, sab, or torch, torch. It's up to you. You've created everything. This is all on you. Well done. Good, the bad, the ugly and the Friday freaks.
because I am who I say I am and I am God's daughter and um, I don't need your validation or respect actually because I've got the respect of one man which is who I use the energy one man because God for me is I father sky mother earth so for me it's father you, some people say God's a woman that's okay whatever floats your boat for me it's just my father so I have the love of one man which is who the godfather God loves me and that's all that matters because everything else will just, uh, well, no greater power than the power of that God rod. It's better than any wand. Oh, sugar daddy. I don't need a sugar daddy. I have a God daddy. And he's, he's not really all sugar. He's quite a bit uh, salty sometimes. He's a bit of an asshole, my dad. I sometimes want to tell him to fuck off myself. I actually often do tell my god father to fuck off. <laughs> and he says, all right, I'll just leave you there. When you're ready to get back up, I'll come back. How long are you staying there for this time? A year? Are you going to wallow in yourself pretty? How long are we staying for? Just leave her till she calls for help. When she's ready to fucking swallow that pride, we'll be back. <laughs> God's not what you think he is. He's not a soft god, really. Not the father I pray to. I don't know who you're praying to. My dad is not putting up with fucking bullshit. You want to learn a lesson? You want strength, Catherine, do you? Okay. Whip her down some strength. Show her how to learn. Show her how to be strong. Fuck. We should never ask for that, fucker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so that's how I'm strong, because I've been made to go through the valley of death. Hell. <laughs> Many times. And I chose to ignore it sometimes, because I thought I was better than my father. And he told me in 2011 what my firstborn child was a spawn of the devil and I knew what she was going to do. But I thought I knew better than my father. I did. I'd be making a while, you see. Because I thought, because thinking is dangerous for simple minds. Catherine, tell her to stop fucking thinking. People tell me, oh, tell her to, she's overthinking again. I think the far end of a bar me. <coughs> so I honestly thought this might be helpful to some of you out there who are going through shit. <coughs> I did honestly think, I did think, I thought, that I could love my firstborn child out of this. There's no way she's going to sell me down the river and kill her own mother. No way! I have a mother from hell. I have mothers from hell. I've had fathers who are fucking, well, I'm not going into the negative sides of stuff today because we all know the story, but... I've been to hell with men who haven't protected me and women who try to just fucking hate me and Jezebels. So I'm surrounded by Judases and Jezebels all my life. I've never got revenge on them. And my mother, who's particularly demonic, I've never, I've tried to love her until I got to 44 and then I thought, do you know what? Bye. But it's, I, I'm respectful of my elders. Whether you agree with the elders or not, you should respect elders. I, I, I do believe that is true, yes. So I respected the elders, even though she was a vamp tramp. And uh, I thought, there's no way my daughter, having a mother like me, a mother like me, I'm a... I'm not blowing my own trumpet, Dad. I'm just going to say, you had a mother like me, and they tried to kill me. There's no way she's going to do that, Dad. I says, no, I, he says, I've shown you the future. Why are you denying me? You, Father said to me, because I did do this. I did what you did. That's why my life went a bit chaotic and I had to learn the hard way. Why? Because my daughter is sacrificing me, sold me to the Illuminati and wants me dead. And now she's upset and jealous because she's, I'm not dead. Pack. I don't deal in emotions of fic fiction or... Oh, I feel this and I feel that. I don't care what you feel or believe. The truth is the truth. I believe that my daughter would not do that. I can love her out of it. Don't worry, God. I'm going to prove you that I can love her out of this. With a love like I give, there's n I, I can love. Of course she'll love. I can. She's not going to do that. There's no way. So I would have done what you did. In truth. I've seen the truth. I knew the truth. I've seen it. I knew it. But I didn't feel it. Because I thought I knew there's no way that's going to happen. I can love her out of it. I'll go against what God's shown me. So I denied the truth. So I was in denial. Like what you lot have been. It's very painful, I know, isn't it? I know it is. 
I found it very painful, so I, I couldn't face the truth because I just thought there's no way my own biological blood child would do that to me. No way! No way! No. No way. All I've ever wanted in my life is a family, you see. The devil knows that. That's why he did what he did. But, and that was my test. But I'm hard like that, and I like the painful tests. They, they teach me the best lessons. So, that's it, really. So when all of these light workers and the real spiritual people are telling you, walk away from your family, blood is not thicker than water, it's a lie, it's an illusion that they confuse you with, it's a program of the Matrix. Blood is everything, stick by your family. It is not. Bullshit. And I know that because now, well, you've just heard a bit of my story, so. You can't love them out of it. They are what they are. Born that way. It's like me, I'm a four oh good. Because I'm born that way. Bad as a bow. I am. <laughs> so. That's just it, really. Like. So I've enjoyed our, our little, well, 56.22 on the clock little chit chat. I just thought I'd come in and let everyone know why you're suffering the way you are now because of what you've done to God's DA. That would be me, the undercover boss of the investigator of the underworld of the Matrix. Got all your tricks, now your card's marked, and now you're going to have to live with the consequences to your actions. Not mine. You know what you did. I just turned up and had a nice time. I mean, the last time I went and seen the Fireman Sam and had 30 bricks. They were all meant to be nice to me, but they were all... You know what you did. Now don't blame me. Can't blame yourself. Don't bother phoning me. I don't need a nurse. And I certainly don't need a GP like your zombie pillars. Pillars of the killers. <laughs> pillars of justice has arrived. And now I think I might go and get ready. Give myself a hug. And go for a walk. Because I'm always going to be okay by myself. I'm better by myself than I have ever been in my whole life with bam tramps. Trying to kill me. Whether you believe that or not is irrelevant because it's true. Believe what you want, feel what you want, think what you want. Thinking is dangerous for simple minds. I know this because I've been this. Even I denied my father when I'd seen the whole vision. I'd seen what you did. I knew this time and moment in time. I've seen this before. It's already happened. It's given. I'm not suffering now. I know where I'm going. I'll be fine. I'm coming from my treehouse. I have keys. New keys. Yes. And I'm going to relax and enjoy myself with my ribeye steak and a real heart. Just one. I'm not going to be fucking everyone from the Matrix and loving everyone out of it. I just have one love and that's all I'm going to do. God says it's specially designed for me. I didn't know who it was, no. I've just been in love with the feeling. That's it. So... Well done for trying to work out my love life. And please do know who I'm marrying, because I have no clue. I'm just following a feeling, because I'm the love dove. Okay, that's nearly a full hour, so I think that'll do for therapy on the couch with Kat today. Saturday, Sabbath, have a bath, or sabotage. You're large, dirty blood on your hands. You can't wash that off now, I'm afraid, no. Starred and card and tarnished with blood for life. Oh well, live and learn, live and learn, people. That's life. Go and enjoy yourself. I hope that's helped from the over and out from the back cats for the the love force of the lights of the darks and the marks and the barks of the uh, in between of the greys. Who's watching you? Watching me? Watching you? I'm watching you. Watching me. See ya.